This is a story about the practice of serving. David was a man with a dream. He was so thankful for all that God had done for him that he wanted to thank God by building him a huge temple. And so he went to his advisor, the prophet Nathan, and was told that this idea was a good one. And this made David very happy. David was going to serve God in a new way. And this is a way that would be remembered for generations to come. Whenever someone saw the temple built for God, that they would remember that it was made possible by God's servant, David. This service to God would also help people know the glory of God. But there was a problem. That night, as David was dreaming about the great temple that he would build, the prophet Nathan received a message from God. David would not build the temple, but the job would go to another. Now I want you to imagine how annoying this would be. Imagine trying and trying to do something for God. When you first start, everything goes so well. You start collecting all of the pieces, and they all fall into place where they belong. And it seems that God must be blessing you, because everything just works perfect. And once you have everything set up, and you know that God is going to be glorified through what you do, things start going wrong. And you start to make some mistakes. And you just wait upon God, knowing God will make things right, but it just doesn't happen and you get more frustrated until you make a mistake. And then more mistakes, until you just feel like you want to give up. And then, someone else comes along, and everything just seems so easy for him. It seems as though God hands everything to him on a silver platter. You do so much hard work, but it's his name that gets more attention. Why is it that he gets all of the good stuff? And so Solomon, who's also David's son by the way, gets credit for David's big idea. Solomon was just a child. He had no experience in life. David was a man who had to work hard for everything. But Solomon, he grew up in a castle. David had to fight to survive, but Solomon had things easy. How do you think David would respond when Nathan came to him and told him that he wouldn't get any credit for his idea? David responded by saying, Whatever God wants is fine with me. There is no anger, no sadness, no bitterness. Instead, David is just happy that the job will be done. David prays to God and tells God that he's just a servant who's dressed like a king. That the only thing that really matters is what God wants to do. When David looks at Solomon and sees that he is young and inexperienced, he doesn't feel bitterness, but he sees an opportunity. David realizes that the only way we can serve God is when we come together so that we can work together. And so David works with Solomon, and he prepares Solomon for this great task. Even though David won't get credit for the temple, he still does what he can to help his son. David assembles skilled workers, and then he builds all the nails, because in those days there was no Home Depot where you can go and buy nails from. And then David provided all of the building materials, he gave 3,400 tons of gold. He gave 34,000 tons of silver. And he gave so much bronze and iron that he couldn't even weigh it. What this teaches us about service is that when we serve God, we need to work together. It is not about who gets the credit, but it is all about working for God. And this is why I hope that every follower of Jesus will practice serving.